I'm Patrick Perez. I'm a distinguished scientist working at Technical Law Research and Innovation, and I'm in charge of the exploratory research on computer vision and image processing. The title of this demo is Personalized 3D Face Model from an Existing Video. And in this work, which is a collaboration research with the Max Planck Institute in Germany, we are exploring new ways to create photorealistic 3D animatable face models of an existing person. The challenge is, as opposed to the current workflow, to use only a single monocular video, no 3D scans, no multiple views, no control on the capture, and yet to get an accurate 3D model which can then put in the hands of an artist, for instance, for animation, or even can be animated directly from another input video to play a number of, of face editing tricks for a movie production. The problem we have is to recover um, in very accurate information about the face of the person. It means the geometry of the face, which makes the, basically the identity of the person, but also the way the face deforms when depending on the expressions. And this is the geometric part, all the way to very fine details like the wrinkles of the, or the skin folds, which depend on the expression. So this geometric part is very hard to extract, but we also need to recover the appearance of the skin, the color, color and the texture, so the, obviously all this information is present in a classic video of a person, like an interview if you have a close-up of the face, but the difficulty is really to untangle all these informations to put them back in an actual 3D textured face model that you can then use in your computerized uh, animation. So what we try to do now is to get similar type of information directly from a single monocular video, including existing video, what we call legacy content, uh, uh, in a fully automatic way. And uh, hopefully one day this can help the artists uh, to, to get uh, their job faster or also to do that approximately in case you can't have the person coming to the studio. I think the, the main a target for this research is really uh, visual effects and post-production, um, where uh, this type of uh, photorealistic face modeling and animation is already done. But it's also interesting to see that by getting these uh, automatically such a 3D textured uh, animatable f um, face model of a person can be used in other contexts, in particular gaming, of course, but also communication like when you need some uh, high quality avatars of a person to be transmitted. So uh, you can imagine a number of different applications where such a model is, uh, is precious.